What is going on guys, today we are watching Fruit Basket Season 2 Episode 3. Um, I'm not really sure a lot what to say for the start of the episode, but I just know it's, you know, it's Fruit Basket, we're getting into some emotional stuff every episode, or it's happy or sad, it's going to make you feel. And um, I'm probably just going to get straight into the episode today, I'll obviously talk about last episode for the opening, whenever that is. So yeah, let's get right into it right now. Who is that? Is that his mum? Can't remember what we know about his family. <laughs> oh, I can feel the stress. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, he's gonna love that. How do you rip a shirt that easy? What the hell? I don't even like peach, but those peaches look damn good. <laughs> God's sake. At least he's selling the shirt himself. He's not making Taru do it. <laughs> oh my god. It's sharp. Eh? What's with the change of attitude? Really? Growth. Growth. You love to see it. You keep how he was here, and then you keep how he was probably in episode three of season one. Growth. You love to see it. He doesn't even know what's going on. <laughs> ah! Wait, what kind of shop is it? Oh, God. <laughs> um, yeah, well, that burst of happy-ish happy -ish energy made me forget that an opening was supposed to come. <laughs> um, so, in the last episode, I'm going to turn this down a little. We 
had somewhat of a crisis with kind of the family, but mainly Teru towards the end of the episode. Kind of realizing that life soon is going to hit them. Which I know all too well myself. <laughs> um, and she just kind of, I don't know, let the idea just sit at the back of their mind, of her mind not really thinking about it. But then it kind of just appeared when they were kind of bringing everything up with careers and whatnot. That was kind of real to see. And Tara needs to realize that she's never going to be alone <laughs> through any of these kind of situations. And she's letting all of her anxiety kind of cloud over her at times. But literally, she has all of these people <laughs> who would never let her fail or let her, you know, crawl into any kind of darkness, which is nice. And we had the whole thing with Kyo and his father and whatnot, this the mid part of the episode, but let's remember the 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 warm, fuzzy times, shall we? Because his dad's obviously a piece of shit. <laughs> uh no windows. No advertisements. I have a bad feeling about this too. <laughs> So he sells maid outfits and nurse outfits. Oh no. What does he sell? What is it? A craft store. Oh, yeah. I mean, he was able to sew, so I had a feeling. He was able to sew, so I assume it was some sort of craft related stuff. Well, that's nice. It's not like some weird tech shop then. <laughs> I mean, fair. A specialist store. Okay. That could be quite lucrative for a business. Mm, so he's pretty good at what he does. <laughs> I mean it's probably not as weird as you expected like yeah okay yeah I I agree <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I don't know about that. Yeah, that's kind of a crime. I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> At least she's not forced to wear it. Oh, she's one of those types, is she? She's 
She reminds me of uh, Hatsume Mei from My Hero. <laughs> How she's like obsessed over the things she makes and stuff like that. Her voice is similar as well. I don't think it's the same voice actor though. Maybe it is. No, it's probably not. I can hear hints of the same voice though. But it's probably just me assuming things again. <laughs> but I will look it up after this episode. Busybody. <laughs> True. Nil. Nil? Is that like nothing? <laughs> Yeah, that's nice. It's a nice thought. <laughs> Creepy hand. Oh, Jesus. Hmm. That would be insane. So the person in the stream was most likely his mum then? Dislike those people. <laughs> The, the, the older brother seems to not be on good terms either, I suppose. Fair enough. How did they sell you? got to keep your inner circle close. Get rid of any negative people in your life. Doesn't matter who they are. Blood doesn't mean family. Man. I see why he's, he's so obsessed to be there and bring in his brother's lives now. I was just asking for help. Fuck, man. Parents are assholes, man. Pretty much all the parents in this story are assholes. Yeah, I'd like to see what he wants to do for a career path. That'd be cool. Maybe it'd be like a... He likes, he likes gardening. I don't know.
Might be a little sound interference in the background if you can hear it. Sorry, guys. See, like this noise, for example. <laughs> God, so. That's nice. See, look. Gardening. Could be a botanist or something. That'd be cool. Well, gardening and planting foods and stuff like that. Is it, does it all fall under the same thing? I don't know. The sound is really bad right now. I'm sorry, guys. Jesus Christ. I'm going to have to mute it for a sec. Huh? What does he mean? Is he trying to just get out of his comfort zone? Trying to embrace new things? There we go, finally. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, okay, let's see Taru. Oh, wow. Yuki is dumbfounded. She looks nice. I don't know if white's her color, though. Oh, she's more of like a springy yellow or blue, I think. <laughs> 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 
Ja. <laughs> yeah, I think he did. He, it worked really well. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> you have to buy into his dumb dumbassness and just be like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll buy it. <laughs> Growth. <laughs> oh. There's that. There's that 2001. <laughs> There's that 2001 romance scene right there. Ah, so he was swayed by an alpha. There you go. What he was saying was true. <laughs> Seki can race. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I love his brother. He's so funny. Right, let's have a look at the end, shall we? Every time I see this, it's nice. It's like a desktop wallpaper. Is it the snake? So, that was episode 3 of Fruit Basket Season 2. It was nice to see a relationship, more improvement and growth between Yuki and his brother. It was interesting to see that his brother knew he was part of the problem when he was growing up because he didn't do anything. But it's also that's also mainly because of his bad parenting parents and they probably kind of did the same thing to him so he felt like emotionless and hollow and he couldn't help his younger brother because no one helped him i think is what i'm getting from this but it's nice it's nice to see everybody warming up and it's like it's a it's like a chemical reaction or a domino effect that all this has come about like because of terror and like what to Toru entering their lives is now a season and three episodes down the line. Come to this point, these members of family are, fa are mem members of family are interacting like this. Yuki's able to like say, oh, "Actually, I want to see what my brother's life is about, what what he does for a living, and stuff like that." And actually, be interested in that kind of thing and building a bond with his brother. It's just like she does give off kind of just a radiance and a warmth to others around her, making others want to be more like her and better for her. I think I read very deeply into that. <laughs> but yeah, that's just my opinion on it. And uh, yeah, very nice little episode. I hope the more the, the quality just stays very consistent, which it probably will, and the episodes are more fun and wholesome and sad at times, obviously, but it's, you know... Part of their lives are very depressing and sad. And that's okay. But anyway, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your week. Peace out.